This is Naya. She's a 56 foot 10 inch traditional style narrowboat built in 2007 by Paul Widdison and fitted out by Witham. Naya, I'm told, is, uh, is an Arabic word meaning new beginnings. That could be appropriate for somebody. She's in absolutely stunning condition. She was repainted last year, just in 2018, by Tully up on the River Neen near Lilford. And he does a first class job. She's mirror finish um, from toe to tip or tip to toe. She was last blacked in October 2018, just less than a year ago. Last serviced in April 2019. There is a survey, if it's relevant, from 2011 when the current owners bought her, but you can see what they've done to her and how they, they've looked after her. There's been absolutely no expense spared. Fabulous condition, inside and out. Very light boat, you can see how big these windows are. There's portholes in the stern and bus style windows in the and towards the front of the boat. The gas bottles are in that forward locker there, two of those, 13 kilos. The cratch cover was new in November 2018, very good condition. And a lovely well deck, nice little table here for dining out or drinking out or playing cards, working the computer. Glazed front doors, and in we go. Really lovely feel to this boat, she's fitted out in oak. Oak tun and groove to the ceiling, cabin sides and carpet below the gunnels. A couple of very comfy reclining and swivelling armchairs with footstools, I hasten to add. Stereo zone, there's a TV aerial point just below this cupboard. Here's the view of the well deck, really cosy little area. The stove's a bubble, that's a solid fuel stove. And there's the view down the saloon. The saloon itself is just over 12 feet long, 12 feet 6 inches. Head height on the boat is 6 foot 4. Some shelves at the end of the galley here. Useful storage space. And some cupboards over. There's lights in these. These lovely little glasses cupboards I suppose you'd use them for. But put in there what you like. Put the budgie in there or the cat if you want. On the starboard side of the galley just devoted to storage and there's so much of it. Very good work surface. And cupboards galore. There is plumbing under here for a washing machine by the way. And opposite is the cooking utilities. It's a vanette oven and grill, squeaky clean. And a four burner gas hob. There's a cupboard over. Stainless steel sink. It's very easy to say stainless steel stink, but there we are. I've managed to avoid it on most videos. Cupboards underneath. And the fridge next to it is a 12 volt lek with an ice box. And there's the view down the saloon. The galley itself is seven feet one inch long. Very good space. The boat feels very large at 56 foot, well, 57 feet. And breaking from the traditional, the dinette is after the galley with a side hatch opposite. I love this arrangement. It really separates the dining area from the social area. And that dinette, by the way, does convert into a double berth. There's a fly screen I just passed there for this side hatch. On into the bathroom, the loo is a Thetford cassette. There's a spare cassette on board. That Sink is ceramic, there's a towel rail that's heated, and a cupboard next to the shower with linen shelves over. And the shower itself is good size, two and a half feet square. Central heating on board, I mentioned the towel rail, that's an Eberspacker system that heats five radiators and a towel rail. And on into the bedroom. The bed's a cross bed. That's a queen size, four feet six inches wide by six foot three long. Storage underneath, two radiators in here. There's a lot of storage in here as well. There's a radiator, um, sorry, a wardrobe. Either side of the bed with drawers under and there's a locker each side of the bed as well. And some very good sized cupboards over. Lovely woodwork, 
following the contours of that porthole. And another wardrobe there. I'll spare you from opening that one. And on the stern cabin on the cockpit area. Such a beautiful floor in here. I think the wood is oak, but I'm not sure, or oak face ply, but it's high gloss. It looks absolutely stunning. Cupboards here. The engine under those deck boards is a Kubota Nanny 40 horsepower. There's only 1100 hours on it. It's so clean in that engine room. There's a photograph on the uh, website. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. Super big access to this stern. As a traditional style boat, it can be difficult to get through. This one is not. Big battery bank on the boat, 510 amp power domestics, one starter. There's an inverter on board for 230 volts, 1600 watt Victron. The hot water is provided by the engine, the Eber Spacker central heating system, or there is an immersion heater which will heat the water when on the landline. And she comes with all the necessary navigation equipment to just turn the key and go. Absolutely beautiful boat. Look at the finish on her. That's Naya. For further photographs of fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.